Hi, Donna Robinson, The Traveling Nanny. I've done a review on this, but one of my viewers made a good point that I kind of stepped in front of the bag so you really couldn't see inside. So I decided to take advice and try to redo it. This is the Bag Smart. And it's a cool looking backpack. You know, it's kind of professional looking. It's got a little bit of color in it so that if you lay it down on an airplane or underneath your airline seat, you know, you can see it. Black, it just gets lost. So, what are the attributes to have this great little backpack? So, start with the back. It has a band that you can put it over your suitcase. And these and the back would also be a double bind to collect it there. There is a little pocket here in the side. So, in the back, you could put passports or your... Or your charger or something that you want to get to very quickly okay and that's basically the back it's got a little padding in here the mesh is supposed to keep you from being hot when you carry it but don't count on it really cushioning anything and then for those of you that travel with computers that type of thing or maybe you have ipads or maybe you have a kindle or maybe you have folders or something. This is kind of nice. It opens up. It's got a big space for your backpack. You can see it. It has a little place in the back that you could put something to. And it does have a few little pockets here that you could put your cords or something else in. All in all, you know, it gives you a lot of options, which is always nice. Um, there are some cons, but we'll go through that later. You have to remember, as I have stated in other videos, I'm not a real backpack person. So, uh, really, it's really hard to please me 100%. But, this is a, you know, a nice backtrack. I like the way it looks. So, I thought I'd give it a try. Now, let's go to the front. One of the things I do like about it is this little top part. See how deep it is? You can, I found I could put my... Um, TSA makeup pouch right here so it's easy to get to if I should have to take it out because even though you don't in the U.S. sometimes you have to in foreign airports. So it's nice that you could do that or you could put your phone charger or something of like that. If you put your phone charger you could even just leave a little crack here and bring your cord right up so that if you were charging your phone you could have it there on the top so it could work. Since it doesn't really have a place for the phone charger. Okay, second part in the front, it has this nice little side pack, which I really did like. If, if you had it on, you could just reach in there really easy to get your passport or to get your stuff, but you don't have to worry too much about hip pockets. It's got an overlap flap, so if anyone tried to grab anything out of there, you would feel it. The other part that's kind of nifty is that it has a lace for your shoes. There's a little bag that goes all the way up in here and you can do your shoes. Or if, um, if you're like me, you like to have your slippers at the airport um, because when you go in planes, you want to take your shoes off, it's a long flight, you want to get comfortable, but you don't want to walk on those messy old floors. So I just put my house slippers right here and with this handy dandy bottom pouch makes it really easy to get into to slip them on. And I could still put my ballet slippers up in the other part. I wouldn't be carrying heavy shoes in my backpack. Okay, so it has little buckles on the side. And these are good because after you get it completely packed, you're going to want to compress it as much as you can because if you um, are like me, I'm going to London on a basic economy flight, I get a free check bag because I have the card, but still, my carry-on is going to be something that has to fit underneath the seat. So this is nice, so you can compress it. The other thing nice about this, it has one of the few water bottle pockets that actually is big enough to hold your water bottle. You know, so many of them, you're like scrunching and scrunching. But this will actually hold my RTIC 16-ounce water bottle, which is nice. And then once again, when you're done, you can compress it. Now, what it's really known for, though, is its ability to pack kind of like a suitcase. Now, just look at this. As you can see, the compression straps. 
and this is where your shoes would fold over eventually. My, this is where we come into a con because I don't know if I just got a bad one because it doesn't look like the one in the pictures, but I have my compression backs as far as I can get them and it's still way too big. They should be tight so that it can compress. Um, I don't know if I just got a bad one. It doesn't match the pictures, but if it really bugged me, I would just probably tag them and sew them right in here to make them tighter because they do have ways to adjust up here too. Um, so let's just go by that. What will it actually pack? Well, the only thing you really probably, if you're like me, I'm looking to pack something in case my suitcase gets lost. What can I put into it? Um, here is, I'm going in the winter time, so uh, cool time. Here's a couple sweaters. I kind of use the easy pack. Um, you could row and get a lot in here, but because I'm not going to put a lot in here, I'll go with my easy packs. And this one has like underwear and things, you know, extra things that I might need on the plane. Or, you know, something that would last me for three or four days until I did get my luggage. Although we're not claiming that my luggage gets lost, mind you. And here is a pair of pants and a couple of tops. So two pairs of pants, three tops, a um, couple of sweaters, uh, basic underwear. And then if I had my ballet slippers, I could put them in there and put it over. And then our little useless compression cups. You can see too much room. But once I got it tight, I could make that really tight. And then you just fold it up. You can see it packs pretty good. And you can imagine how much you can get in here. If you, I, when I rode stuff, you could get a lot. But because I'm not a backpack person and because I can't take the weight on my shoulders, I'm trying to think what could I pack that would fulfill the reason but not be too heavy to carry. So there we got it. Now, as you can see, it's a little wide, right? It doesn't fit underneath my suitcase. So, I'm going to take our little straps here, see if we can make it smaller. And it would kind of go right over your bottle, so if your bottle did come up high, you wanted to secure it, but actually you won't have to, because the bottle will go in nicely. Okay, so that compresses a little bit, and you can do it the same thing on the other side. Now, you can see... Now you flatten it a little bit. And it would squoosh because I don't have that much and because I'm using cues that automatically squoosh when you push down. Um, it would be just fine. So there we have it. I'm judging that with everything in here, it's probably about eight pounds, nine pounds at the most. The back, as you can see, has adjustable straps. It has the front. And it's a nice looking backpack. Now, my main part, of course, is how comfortable is it. Now, I don't know if I get this on by myself. I'm terrible at these things by myself. Ah, oh, I went on. Okay. So now, you have it on. You do have the little cross things that people always like to kind of keep it from sliding. And you can adjust these up and down, too. So it's really not too bad. Here it is sideways, and here it is back way. And... With this kind of weight, it doesn't feel too bad. Um, so it's bag smart. It sells for around 69 bucks. It's not cheap. Waterproof, so or water resistant at least. I do also like you have a handle up here, so if you're grabbing it off the, off an airplane belt, you can. But also sometimes when you're grabbing it, it's nice to have a side pocket, a side strap. So you can also hold it like this. Um, and then I, when I get my suitcase, I would just attach it with a handy dandy little strap back here, which is another con because it's really too low. They should have put it up, up a little higher so it really is easier to get onto your, um, your suitcase and it would balance better. As it is, when it's this low, it's always going to want to tilt. So you'd have to really put these straps over it. Too much trouble. The whole point is to make it quick and fast. You don't want to hold anybody up trying to put your straps on. But all in all, my main cons is, well, three cons. One is the strap in here is not a compression strap because it's too loose. 
and either someone didn't maybe check it when it was going through construction, um, they made a mistake, or that's just the way it is, in which case, the, the whoever designed it is a little bonkers. So they really should be tight, got plenty of room to adjust, make it longer if you need it, but you need to start off tight because the whole point of compression is to squash it down and it won't do it. The second thing that my con is the fact that this is not high enough. And probably the third, because I'm not a backpack person and backpacks bother me, I like this back here to be a little bit more padded. One thing, your backpack, your computer's in here, so I'd like to see a little bit more padding so it sits against your back um, a little more comfortably and that you would feel when you're laying it down and then you know in the airport you throw things everywhere that it would be sufficient. So hopefully my viewer that for, you know, reminded me he couldn't see the other time, this one will be better. It's not perfect by far, but it's nice looking. It has that side pocket. It has a little front pocket in here that you can also put stuff in. So it does have some little convenient places, that's for sure. And these are probably my favorite because if I had it on, I could just reach back and get something really easy. Um, I think it has enough of a detour to pickpocket because your both of your flaps are covered and seam covered. Um, well, this obviously isn't, but if someone's going to do that, everything's going to fall out on so I think you'd know. Um, but for a quick airport, under your seat, carry your stuff um, because regular backpacks, you know, you're passing from the top down and then you can't see anything. Then when you want to get everything out, you got to take everything out. So I think this type of backpack is great. Um, my Sweet 16 that's going to go with me to London really likes it, the pictures of it. She thought it was pretty cool and she thought, oh, you know, as a teenager, this would make a great uh, sleepover bag because you could actually pack your clothes in there and your computer or whatever. Um, and she liked it so much, I'm giving it to her because for me, um, the comfort level, level when I put it on because it's not cushioned isn't as nice as the cool Fay that I have demoed otherwise. But other than that, it's fairly nice, and I'm hoping this is better review for you. Thank you.